Hi, Opportunity Kids. I am Miss Amanda, and today we're gonna to do our third art project at home. And remember, I want you, or I need you, to have your imagination, and I really need you just to have fun. So I have an imagination hat and my creative hat. So I'm gonna put that on for our third project. Today, we are gonna make masks. How are we gonna make a mask? Well, we're gonna use a good old paper plate because it's nice and sturdy and it's already a circle. So I'm gonna have the puffy part of the mask facing me and because it's round and it's easier to work with. So let's make the first mask will be a monster. So I'm just gonna draw two dots for the eyes and I'm gonna cut out those eyes, right? We're gonna cut those out in a minute, you'll see. In the meantime, since we're making a monster, maybe I'm gonna make a monster with, I don't know, weird eyebrows, mm, scary mouth with teeth. I don't, what do monsters look like? I think they're all kinds of monsters. And we can do a monster with funny hair. It could be, what color do you think the monster should be? Well, let's see. I think, generally speaking, green. But first, let me show you how you cut out the eyes. We'll just do one. You poke a hole, and then you take your scissors. Again, you can get your mom to help you. And you cut out the eye. And you cut them both out. You gotta start the hole first because it's hard to get the scissors in there. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna put a lot of stuff on your, on this wonderful, scary monster. Um, so, maybe he'll have like lines under his eyes. Um, I think my monster will be green. So, by the way, you can use paint or crayons. I'm sure your kids have crayons. And um, I might even use, remember that sponge? That sponge is a great way to put paint all over your monster. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the, the sponge maybe on the outside of my monster face. So here, you know, that way I can, I have all this part of the monster that I can fill up with my sponge painting. And of course we have magic markers, we have more paint, you have crayons. The other thing, I've never talked about this. The other thing is we can use I have magazines. Do your parents have magazines? Your mom and dad? And so I rip out a page and I make shapes. And maybe I want to make hair or maybe I want to make a cheek. You know, maybe a nice red cheek and, and make the monster have cheeks or funny hair. I can stick these stickers on. This is a post-it note. Maybe that can be at the top, part of like a, a bad green hair day. <laughs> and you could create little horns. Very important at the end, and I'll show you we're not finished, but at the very end, you also want to create, before you add on anything else to your monster on the side, holes, two holes on the side because you're gonna wear the mask. So I'm gonna punch with my little sharp pencil. I'm gonna punch a hole like that on both sides. And I'm going to take string. It could be this kind of string, any kind of string you want. And I'm gonna put the string through the hole
and I'm going to tie it on, one on each side. And um, that way, when I'm ready, when my mask is ready, I can tie it on and scare everybody in my house. So I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to finish this mask because we have something else to show you, but I will show you basically what this mask looks like <laughs> when I'm finished. And did that scare you? So make your monster mask. It can be any kind of mask, a monster mask, and you will be the hit of the party. Now, one more mask. We can also make an animal mask. An animal mask, you're gonna make a lion mask. Again, you cut out the eyes, two eyes, and I'm gonna draw the nose and the mouth. And we can color this in with our sponges. We're gonna take the yellow paint, we're gonna actually do sponge painting on this one, because look at the texture I just made. And maybe on the outside, we will have the orange to be his mane. You know how the lions have big manes, and they roar a lot, and they're very beautiful and strong. Now, same thing with your lion mask. Don't forget, we can also, this is not finished yet, but we will also need to punch a hole, two holes, one on either side, to make the holes for the ties. Now, again, I ripped up some pages from my mom's magazine to make the hair, the wonderful mane, and I'm gonna glue these on. And let me show you how I do that. So here we have two of these lions, and I'm going to glue the wonderful pieces of paper all around my lion with the Elmer's glue, which you have, and I'm going to create a wonderful mane using the paper from a magazine, and it could be any color, it doesn't have to be orange. And, um, so what you can do is we're gonna cut out the eyes, because this is gonna be a mask as well. And once you're finished gluing all of this, the mask will be ready for you and for your friends to parade. Not your friends, because we're all, this is a home project. Um, but for your family. Maybe your sister would want to be a, um, a dog or, a, or a, um, a bird or a frog. So don't forget, we're cutting out the eyes and we're putting the holes in, but there you have your mask. These eyes will be cut out here. And we have that wonderful lion with his beautiful mane. Remember, all of these will be glued on. And there you have your beautiful lion mask. So thank you children and um, enjoy playing and creating your wonderful art at home. I'll see you soon.